welcome to the session greeting of the day in this class we are going to see about the resistance welding processes earlier to these classes we have already seen the various types of gas welding methods the various types of arc welding methods we have seen so this gas welding methods oxyacetylene gas welding importantly we have seen and later in the arc welding methods the various methods of Schroeder metal arc, submerged arc, GTW, MIG, plasma, all those things we have seen previously. And now we are shifting over to the third part of this resistance welding methods. In this resistance welding, few categories of spot, seam, projection, flash, but is this categories are there. Those things we are going to see in this today's class. The remaining part also we have to see. So next. So we have completed the spot welding and seam welding. Now we are coming for the projection welding process. See? So this we have done. And this countries we have done. Now we are coming for the projection. We will see one by one. In projection welding, you can able to see the image here that there is a small projection is there on the object which we are going to weld. In such cases, example, you see here, this is the plate. This is one more plate. Both are kept at lab that we understand. And here we are going to supply the resistance heating and those point we are going to make the joint. But on the same resistance heating, I have the projection over there. That projection point going to get in contact going to receive the resistance heating and going to make other points are not getting because I told you electrode where is the contact there will be the heating therefore where is the contact here over the lab two, two pieces are there the contact occur at this point the contact occur at this point therefore the current flow passes over here at high at highly therefore this is the stage of first melting location through that we can able to do those welding methods likewise so we can able to see these things one more time this video will, will be helpful you see here we have taken the two electrodes and the one more sheet has been kept one over the other here the projections are there the corners and it is when heat is applied it is a pressure on heating supply and the welding has been completed in a, in 30 seconds of time it is a very micro time we are completing. We have to understand clearly those things. See, we have taken two electrodes and the sheet and the bolt we are going to join. On the bolt we have a small projection. When the resistance heating is applied, those projected point is heated and it is melted first and it is joined there. And we are disconnecting the supply of current, the electrodes are disconnected. So joining after there. Heating occurs at the specific projected point that is called as projection, projection welding. So here likewise, the red color denotes the the red color denotes the where the location of contact heating is occurred. Here, this location, this location. Here, the same point. Here, this point after building it becomes like this. So this is some setup, machine setups. The pressure and the current are applied as in the spot welding the pressure and the current the pressure and the current are applied as in the spot welding since the current must flow through the since the current must flow through the points of contact since the current must flow through the points of contact namely the dimples the, the dimples called as projection the dimples are projection heating is con concerned and where the weld is desired at that point the welding occurs as the metal heats and becomes a plastic the pressure applied causes the dimple to flatten and form the weld first the projection is there due to heating due to pressure it is plastic and therefore it is getting flattened because it is melted that nothing but it is something it is going dimples getting a flattened softening stage occurs there so that is uh, causes the welding so some few images you see here here is the projection projection is projection is kept here this point projection is kept at this point this point so this projection 
will come in contact and current flow will occur and then this method and completed the joining methods so this point see here in this image here here the image here this one this is the projection available there so that small point will make the welding process see a small video how they are doing the spot welding process there here the bolt and nuts are joined how fast they are doing automated system plate and bolt they want to join quickly there see how fast they are doing there a simple the bolt is coming from there automatically and there they are doing multiple jumps see in this plate in this plate they are connecting this the same method we can able to use in the automobiles also so at last they will show you see how many how many spots they are doing in a quick way see the frames see how they are doing the frame actions they can able to do so how fast they are doing so these are the various panels in the automobiles for the car panels wherever they need they are doing the machine setup see how they are quickly welding has been done spot welding two sheets are nuts and bolts are welded over the specific point quickly it is ready machine is ready it is ready to punch we need have to keep there we have to keep there at the specific needed locations and then easily the welding has been done such a, such possibilities are there to do see how easily and quickly they are getting they are able to do those process so such uh, possibilities are there so advantages so advantages how we can able to do so dimples and projections can be made almost at any shapes but projection needed it is it may be a ball headed point headed or anything flat but the additional projection than that of the specific items so the project to be projection like this or maybe like this or maybe like this anything some projection to be there there the contact there the heat there the melting there the joining so that are several dimples here. many dimples can be incorporated one or two or three or four whatever for the additional so in, in case for the flat thing when you are giving the one the strength will be less and giving multiples the strength is increased because the joint also increased so there are such cases we can able to do so those are the main advantages application several joints can be made with multiple spots joints can be made with multiple spots as required that's for that is why not only we have seen one video nuts bolts can be attached to the other metal parts by projection welding so somewhat uh, very interesting so multiple welds can be made with the additional strength factors this helps in improving the shortcoming of the conventional spot welds where one spot is made at a made at a time so multiple spots continuous multiple projection can be done easily so a few images i want to show you which are done by the projection welding method see this points they have done these points are done to machine setups here uh, no only then the video also the same similar type of uh, buildings are done some other images uh, we can able to see the two are done here so some examples are uh, car frames maybe a spot building maybe a seam building maybe a projection building anything or can be done so as of now we have done spot seam projection upset and butt are there now we are going for the upset and then we go for the flash butt building process in this process the piece to be joined or brought together to made met with each other in a butt configuration until now we have seen the lap configuration but now in upsetting and flash we are going to see about the butt configuration it means a two two contact this is a lap this is butt butt configurations compared to the lap joint the two pieces are tightly held together and the current is applied so that the heat is generated through the contact area between the two plates since the joint is under the pressure here also we are applying pressure how what we are doing here you see the image is there we, we, we will go to the image see here i have taken two specimens in this two specimens 
in this two specimens what i am doing here after connecting the supply of current is given here what happens the flow should take place from this side to this side the flow should take place from this side to this side so what happens there is a gap between this two there is a air gap even though it is not a complete complete work piece it is a two work pieces obviously there is a gap that we are going to join therefore the flow of current wants to jump from here to here this flow of current will be resisted by the other one therefore what happens the resistance heating occurred in between these locations due to this resistance heating the plasticized softening will occur at this work pieces and then at the same time we are applying the pressure and the total length total length has been reduced total length has been reduced we are leveled to the upset formation so that is why it is called as upset welding it, it means that the length shortening occurs and also the metal upsetting occurs there so that is why it is called as upsetting process so you see here a small clip i have added here a small clip i have added two work pieces have kept here one and two they have kept and there is a gap between this two and now what we are going to do here i am going to apply the supply of current resistance heating at the plastic stage i am applying the pressure and welding done as very simple method very simple and then we can able to remove for the other process you see again you see again with me can i able to understand see there work piece has been assembled the gap and resistance heating to be done flow of current heating heating not possible to withstand softening and at the same time of softening application of pressure and welding completed small flash and the upset has been occurred that is why it is called as upset welding so then we can able to removal process we can able to go so what are what we are doing so flow of current heavy current is positive there one side to other side should move but there is a two gap is there between these two due to this gap formations the flow have to be jumped one over the other at the same time resistance will also be there on this specific stainless steel or maybe carbon or maybe cast iron whatever what steel it is but depending upon their thermal conductivity the resistance increases or decreases accordingly more current will absorb and then heating will be there and softening will be there and melting and pressing welding occur this is called as upset welding upset welding upset welding process now i am going for the next one you see in this specific welding methods now they will remove how the how the specimen is there uh, the projection we can able to see there the projection is visible in that specific point so now we have completed spot same projection and upset also we have done and last one we have to see about this uh, flash butt welding how it looks then so this is part we understand and this is same we have understand this projection we have understood and now here we have done the upset welding we have done the upset welding now we are going for the arc here the arc occurs even though it is butt joint but in this resistance instead of resistance we are using a arc welding process that arc is light but not melting you see it is very similar to the upset welding it is very similar to the upset welding process except that the heat is required heat required for melting is obtained by means of arc rather than that of the simple resistance heating in the earlier process for empty resistance heating welding all these things all these things are done by the resistance heating but here only we are making the arc generation between these two or causes the heat it means electric supply we are giving the equipment consists of two plates to be which to be welded one plate is fixed and another one is move that uh, that arrangement we can able to tell like this uh, one is uh, here is and here the two arrangements are there as like uh, given but what happens but what happens you see 
when the setup electrical supply is given here, see electrical supply is given. In between these two, there we have more gap here. There in this flash but welding, we have very less gap. It can able to easily jump. There is no need of arc generation. But here there is more gap. It should it should come across over the one over the other. Therefore, it try to jump here to here. It try to jump. That is called as arc generation will occur. So therefore, the end of the two pieces need to be parallel. We have kept one to one parallel the butt, and the two pieces are brought together, and the power supply is switched on. Now the power supply is switched on. Momentarily, the two pieces are separated to create an arc. So what we are doing? Like an arc welding process, a touch method we are doing. The arc is generated between these two because the closing of the electrical circuit generates a short circuit. That we have to maintain for the generation of the arc, generation of the heat, and the heat makes the welding. That, that concept we know. That we are doing here. A simple flash back welding, two work pieces, touch and maintaining the gap, arc generated in the between, and the arc makes the melting. And after melting, come to the softening treatment or plastic stage. We are going to press again. This pressure causes the shortening of the workpiece, but no flux has added. But the shortening and welting is performed there. So then again, the two pieces after that are then again two pieces are brought together when it is softened. When at the plastic state. When at a plastic state. So the power is switched off while the two ends are fused under the force. Most of the metal melted would flash out through the joint and forms the final rounds. So it is generally a fast operation. It is generally a fast operation. Offset welding and can be automated. This, this process and offset welding can be automated. So such are there. So see how it is touched, touch method, and then arc generated, arc generates the heat. And then application of the application of the force makes the joining process will be done completely. This diagram it is very important. We have to draw. So that are the various stages I want to show. You. We are fixed at A. Then B. It is a touch, apply, and flashing, and the arc is generated. And in between two, after arc is generated, it we are maintaining the gap. It means that the arc is generated, arc maintains gap, arc heating occurs. After heating, we are applying the force, upsetting applied, and it is joining a current. Later, we are terminating the current welding process over. So, uh, just for uh, understanding, I have I have sectioned, I have sectioned this section. I am showing here. So, this is the welding occurred at, in this location. See, in this location, welding occurred. This is called as a flash. This region is called as flat, which is uh, shortened because we have not added any fluxes. Filler waves are not added. The total length of 100 reduced to 95 because the two, two sides are there, 2 to m, 3 to m has been converted into flashes. So, some harness treatments we have done there, for examples, to understand how this is done. So, here also one small video clip I have to play. In this setup, we have a railway track welding as performed there. Where this piece is available? At this location, you see. How the, how the large machine shut up and how they are doing the weld joints. So this is the joint occurred where the welding to be done. This two railway track welding to be performed there. The machine has been shut up, are performed and then welding occurred there. So therefore after welding occurring, they want to move to the next, next locations. See, after welding has been done there, this is the machine shut up. Employee has welded and this location is flash but welding has been done, arc flash but welding and this is the railway track, see the railway track how the lengthy track one over the other they have joined and removing and then you can able to see, see how they are coming out, this is the flash shortening, this is the flash and then they will come there, after coming they have to remove the flashes, they have to remove the flashes, here in this treatment the removal of flash occurred here, see there the removal of a process occurred. Here they want to remove. After removal, see how they are removing through the 
let's uh, fittings operations they are removal and then it will be smooth which is used for the railway tracks easily because it is when it is uh, coming to the solidified stage uh, and not in the retard condition it is, it is uh, difficult to remove therefore in continuous with the welding they are removed you remove immediately the smooth surface will form the smooth surfaces will be formed over there so it is a very very simple process and we can able to it will, the next welding it will continue the next welding it will continue over there the next treatments they will go so the long C this joint after solidifying after solidifying it is like that so maybe if we require some grimy operations they can able to do the air so that is how the process so I want to make a comparison between this upset welding this upset welding process and flashback welding here there is no gap here there is no gap and then the flow of current jumps over here and therefore it is not creating the arc but here the resistance heating is done there but here what we are doing I am generating the arc touching and we are maintaining the gap there this gap makes the arc and that arc generates the heat so that is the arc are generated here the arc are generated between these two this arc heating occurs and there also therefore also melting will form that plastic stage we are giving the pressure for the welding treatments so the high frequency weldings are there we have uh, two pipes and there the induction heating will be done and then we can also weld the similar pattern see the coil is there and then the roller for tightening process which can be made so small video clip i want to add dapat merendahkan power yang digunakan ia juga secara tidak langsung dapat menjimatkan elektrik setelah selesai pemasangan welding roll dan impeder stand dilaraskan Slitted coil terus dimasukkan. Work coil dimasukkan terlebih dahulu ke dalam slitted coil sebelum ia melepasi welding roll. Pada bahagian ini, slitted coil telah dibentuk menjadi pipe. Welding roll dilaraskan sekali lagi. Kemudian, work coil turut dilaraskan kedudukannya. Coolant tube turut disambungkan pada work coil untuk menyejukkan work coil tersebut. Pipe kemudiannya dimasukkan melepasi sizing roll. Proses seterusnya adalah melaraskan pisau pemotong sisa welding dalaman atau inner bit cutter. Pipe dipotong sedikit di bahagian atas bagi memudahkan kerja melaraskan pisau. Ada? So totally what we have did, the summary you can tell. So this is what we have performed now in the in the in the resistance welding process, the spot welding we have done this one and the same welding it is continuous and the projection welding we have the projection spots at every locations and then the flash pit welding offset welding no gap maintenance and the and the flash pit welding we have maintained in the arc gap so that is what about uh, today's class the summary. In welding, we have seen about the resistance welding process. In resistance welding process, we have seen about the spot welding, seam welding, projection welding, and then upset welding. And then also we have seen about the flash cut welding. So this flash cut welding with respect to arc generation, this all this all remaining part with respect to resistance heating. Heating. And this is how we complete this uh, resistance welding process. The remaining part of the subject we will see you in the next session. Thank you.